Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just wanted to share some of the items that are in my store. This is not everything. I will share a couple of Halloween paper pads that I have. Um, so I wanted to share this because I know, you know, you kind of want to see what it looks like. Not just a picture. So here we go. So first off, I'm going to talk about these charms here. I've shared these before and these are good for your paper craft projects you can um, you know put it as a, a little sentiment on the top of the package um, you can use it in your charms gift it so yeah I have this color and I have this color here it was supposed to originally be this color so they um, they went back and made sure I got the right color so I have those and then I'm gonna try to go in some kind of order but it might not go that way so I'm gonna talk about the some of the findings so I have these lobster clasps in store. These ones right here. These are really good for jewelry um, and like small dangles, like one charm dangles or two charms on it. Um, so this is what they look like. They are also good for jewelry. Make your bracelet, make your necklace with it. So. They're super cute. I have these ones here. These are a very good size. They're not the big ones, but they are a good size. I have these ones here. These are probably my favorite. I have to get some gold ones in. Right now I just have the silver and antique silver color. Which antique silver, in my opinion, works really well for Halloween. Or, like, if that's the type of look that you like. If you don't know what antique silver is, let me go get one to show you. This is what antique silver looks like. So, next so next to this one, you can see how this one's bright and shiny. And this one is like a, like a grungy type look. So got those I got this one here the single gold lobster clasps perfect for keychains chunky charms these are good for chunky charms as well these two here so these are plastic lobster clasps one in black one in pink really cute so I have those as well um so let me go right into what I think everything else that I have. So I have findings. This one here, they are plastic. Uh plastic uh bales. You can see that right there. So for example, you can use a charm or a flat back and turn it into a charm with these flat, these bales I don't know if you can really see that so I'm gonna like open one to show you so that's what they look like and I actually have a video I'll link it below on how to use these if you don't know because I know there's a beginner somewhere out there who don't know about these because I was once a beginner too. Then I have these here. These are leaf bead caps or flower bead caps. Um, so yeah, I got these. Only have the gold at the moment. Oh, and I also have the what was that color? Black. 
I forgot what it's called, but I do have not a silver. It's like a darker gray color of these. Oh, there they are. They have to be repackaged, but these are the ones. I forgot the name. Somebody help me out, but this color is I have. I also have jump rings. So these ones are... split rings okay so they are split rings and for a split ring if you don't know it's these are very secure for your projects and I found that for these you need a split ring pliers and that's what these are okay I think I have one or two in store So yeah, that's that. Also, I have chain. I got this really pretty metallic pink chain in store. It's super gorgeous. It's just so much prettier in person. So I've added that. Some Halloween items. I have these really pretty gold. Uh, charms little pumpkins this one here I have the little Halloween house they're super cute these are gold plated and then this one is too so I have this one as well with rhinestones on the purse bling in I have these really cute um, these really um, pretty pink Paper clips, you could do so much with these. Make your own charms. Um, I also have pens in store, so make your own beaded pens. Um, where's mine? Mine's is in my purse, and I don't have it near me, but you know, you can add your own beads onto this pen. So, there's that. Also, these really cute little pumpkins. I also added some Christmas stuff. So here's a really cute deer charm. And then some little bells. So here I have some black rhinestone rondelles. These are eight millimeter rondelles. Spacer beads. Put them in between your um your beads. They're, this is to me a great size, a perfect size for when you are like, like for example, if you use this pen and you add a bead and you want to add some type of bling to it, these would be perfect. So I have those. I have this really cute unicorn. This is like Halloween unicorn right here. These uh, four millimeter um, rhinestone rondelles. They're super teeny tiny, but I find these are perfect you can use them for whatever you want to use them for. But these are perfect for jewelry. Jewelry making this size. And then I have these really cute little purses. And lips. I absolutely love these. This blew me away. I'm going to be making more product like this. Because I just think it's amazingly beautiful. And I know a lot of my ladies on here like enchants, like the shiny, the shiny look on um, on things. So super pretty. You can make jewelry out of that. And then I have these really cute gold hearts. It's a ten pack. 
this beautiful charm this girl I love this charm this is probably one of my favorites it's gorgeous and I have other bales these are all oops, oops. these are also bales but they're the um, the metal kind and these are really good for um, bracelets where you can do like a I have like this one here and if you put the bell in the center of it you can add a charm to it so you put a bell here and then you can dangle the charm off of it so I have those so I have these really cute ice cream or cupcake charms Some bows, really cute bows. Christmas, um, I think they're supposed to come in a pack of six, though. I have to go back in to look. So the Christmas stockings come in a pack of six. There's only four in here, but I'll make sure there's six in them. Okay. So now there's more, <laughs> all this goodness. I have made a beach strand with pumpkins and the disco ball bees that we love. Look at how that shines, I love it. So that's available in store. And these are 15 millimeter pumpkins. And I think the beads are either eight or I think they're eight millimeter, eight or 10 millimeter. So as that, let me move this out of the way. There's a lot of goodies sitting here. I know it looks messy, but I promise. Okay, so I have these. I went and got more of these. I realized that a lot of people like these and so this is a pack of 20 bubblegum beads it's a 20 millimeter bubblegum beads i have these in store a mix of beads these are wait no i think there's 25 in this one and 20. uh on the listing you'll see i have a lot of items in store I also have these um, polymer clay, I forgot what these are called, but I have, it's a whole huge, long strand of it, you can see the strand is 16 inches long, so it is a really long strand with a lot of beads. So with these, I might just have to use little plastic ones because these are kind of small. But I also have these really pretty. These are the bags I'm probably going to have to use for those. Um, purple crackle glass beads. Also a long strand. I want to start selling longer strands. I want to bring more like wholesale products to you guys. So this one is 15 inches long. So that's a lot of beads right there. Also, I have one pack of these left. These are the heart um, mix. Of beads. I also have a hundred and twenty pieces. It doesn't look like a lot, but there is a lot in here. And you know what? That's not even including the charms and the rondelles. Yeah, I forgot to add the charms in there. And the rondelles. I only added the beads. So that's actually there's actually more than 120 pieces in here. 
but this mix is gorgeous you can't see the bows at least i can't see it on camera but there is a nice mist mix of beads in here and so yeah i love this mix and then the pumpkin beads oh my god these are my favorite so these are the pink pumpkin beads this is the pack of 10 it comes in a pack of 10 a pack of 20 and it's a pack of 50. i'm just going to show you this little bin that i have it in i love it how it looks this is from the dollar store the bin and like these are 16 millimeter beads i'm gonna start bringing 16 millimeter more into store i want to know what you guys think let me know what you think in the comments also have i still have some of these speech strands left these are gorgeous like the gold and the metal gold and glass i love like the mix of the two so i have those i have eye pins for jewelry making or for making your projects in your um in your bead products so i have those i have daisy spaces they're just so tiny these are four millimeter daisy spaces they're really tiny it doesn't look like a lot but there's 100 pieces in here so yeah i love these these are some of my favorite and then i am so excited about these okay so i made these bow charms i'm gonna be making more right now i just have the set of black and white with silver hardware and let's take one out well i thought i did it to where you can just pull it out the bottom but i guess i did not I'm still making some so let me see okay so i already have one out of the package because they're ready to be packaged and that's what they look like and you just add like let's just say like you want to use you know your lot black luster clasp or you want to use antique silver looks good with that too that is real popping right there along with like the little silver Halloween charms that are out there, like, for example. These ones here. Oh my God, that looks the bomb. And along with the little house charms. Or like, if you just want to go more like glossy polished look use these ones here so there's a lot of like there's versatility with these cute little bow charms use them in your paper projects make your own key charms make your charms you know use them in your products so yeah i'm really excited about these i'm going to be doing more so i feel like if they're already made you know, you don't have to go through the hassle of making the bow and adding the jump rings. Um, they're already there for use. So, yeah. So, that's it for now. I, I got more stuff that I need to share with you guys. Um, I will come back with another video this week, hopefully. I am currently packaging up orders from this week. Um... Be patient. It'll come up. Everything that was ordered this week is going out Monday. So um, be patient with me. I'm doing the best that I can to get you guys your packages as soon as possible. That way y'all can start your crafting with these items. So thanks for watching. Uh, and I appreciate you guys being here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.